Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are still on our way to West End in the Grill. We are still driving in the parish of Westmoreland. Keep on sitting back. Keep on relaxing. And keep on enjoying this journey with me. Now today, we have a number of new stories for you. But crime is on the agenda. Crime is number one in every discussion that you can find. In Jamaica. How much of last year it was Corona or <laughs> COVID-19. But crime is now at the forefront. And that is where it should be. Because based on what is happening, this should be the discussion every single day. Crime and what are we going to do about crime. I started out yesterday and I made some suggestions that all of us should be intelligencers. That is, Gathering the intelligence and passing on the intelligence to the relevant persons. We are talking about we, you know, we as citizens, some basic things that we can do to protect ourselves. My other security measure, and I've been saying this for months now, security cameras. A lot of people, you know, a lot of us think that security cameras are very, very expensive. So, when we hear about security camera, we know better go there. A 5 megapixel camera system, 8 cameras we are talking about. I'm seeing it on eBay for 170 US dollars. Yeah, man, it's on eBay, 170 US dollars. 5 megapixel, 8 cameras. You also get the DVR. What you would need for you to be able to save your images is a hard drive. Please, invest in a camera system. So, I know what you're going to be saying next. But I don't have no access to eBay. I don't have no eBay account. I don't have no Amazon account. No worry yourself. There are places around that you can go to. And they will order the stuff and bring it in for you. All you do is pay them a fee. If you don't want to go through all of that trouble, look at that flyer on your screen. They specialize in surveillance cameras. They sell them and they install them. You can call them or you can WhatsApp them at 876-294-0951. Now listen to me. This is not a paid advertisement. Trust me when I tell you, this advertisement is not paid for. This is someone who I've been doing business with. This is someone who I have recommended to many, many people. And I've gotten the feedback. All good feedbacks. So if you want a good camera system on your house, call this person. Just call him. Nobody think about the money as yet. Call him and have the discussion. And then you take it from there. You can put on a camera system on your house. And anywhere you are in the world, you can view it. He doesn't charge any extra fee for doing that for you. Remember the number. It's on your screen. 876-294-0951. If everybody do it, if, ev if 100 houses are on a lane and 90 or 80% of the houses have on a camera system, trust me, it's going to decrease crime. Try it and see if it works. Now, the leader of the opposition, Mr. Mark Golden, he has made a speech. Well, he had a press conference yesterday in Kingston. And he's calling for the resignation of Dr. Horace Chang. And he's giving the commission of police 60 days. Well, I'm going to let you listen to what Mr. Golden have to say. And drop your comments in the comment section about what you think about what he said. Here goes. Ladies and gentlemen. My fellow Jamaicans, this government has totally mismanaged the national security of our country. Jamaica has witnessed a 10% increase in murders in 2021 and a 19% increase in murders over the first three or so weeks of 2022, with 112 people being killed in just 23 days. Jamaica cannot go on like this. There must be accountability for such poor performance in the critical area of our national security. Dr. Horace Chan's tenure as Minister of National Security has been an abject failure, leaving Jamaicans feeling frightened, hopeless, and in despair. He clearly cannot bring the vision, energy, and vigor, and communication skills which that portfolio requires. We are therefore calling on the Prime Minister to relieve him of his duties 
in that portfolio and give someone else an opportunity to bring a fresh and hopefully more effective approach. Commissioner of Police, Ante Anderson, is also hereby being put on warning. He is the main architect and promoter of the government's state of emergency strategy as an ongoing policing tool. No other commissioner of police before him has followed that unprecedented and what we regard as a dangerous path, abrogating the most basic and hard-won rights of Jamaicans in the name of ordinary policing. The constitutionality of his use of the state of emergency is in serious doubt. As I have already shown, there are other tools in the toolbox for him to use and some others that the government needs to quickly deal with and address to provide him with, which should have been legislated for already. If the Commissioner cannot find another strategic approach to getting the crime problem under control within the next 60 days, I think he must call it a day as well and allow someone else to take up the mantle of Commissioner. So you have heard what the leader of the opposition, Mr. Mark Golden, had to say. What I'm going to do is the entire speech that was made by Mr. Mark Golden, I'm going to post it on our next channel. Now, the next channel, we have renamed it. It's now PNL Vlogs TV. That's PNL Vlogs TV. To make it easier, we can still post PNL stuff, our Papaya Newslink stuff over there so i'm gonna post it on the next channel and i'm gonna drop the link here you can go over there if you want to watch everything that mark golden said you hear him talking about things that he had suggested the suggestions will be on the next channel in that video but based on what he said a while ago what are your views drop it in the comment section below now we got a whatsapp message from a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. From what we are reading, this person is stationed in the parish of Westmoreland. We got this WhatsApp message yesterday afternoon. I'm going to read it in its entirety. We are also going to discuss some things about what this person is saying. Here goes. Good afternoon, Papai. I watch your videos every day. I want to add something, but please don't reveal my number. Squaddy, that will never happen. <laughs> no, no worry ahead about that. Uh, any other police who want to send us a text message or a WhatsApp message? No, don't send no text. Send WhatsApp. 876-458-9111 because we are looking for solutions to the crime problem. It is affecting all of us. So what this person is saying, the announcement of a Zozo was just to appease the business community. <laughs> Westmoreland, need a lot more than a zozo the parish has been neglected by different administration over the years westmoreland need boots on the ground as also resources include vehicles etc so this person is saying westmoreland need more police officers but i thought westmoreland got 47 police officers in december all right let's continue there has been a zozo in saint james for years and some police officers were sent from Westmoreland to work at the Zozo in Montego Bay, they were not replaced. Oh, okay. 47 young police were sent to Westmoreland in December. That was just a drop in the bucket. The Zozo in areas of Savlamar is being policed by police officers from Westmoreland. So what? The Westmoreland police don't get nobody from no other parish? So how comes police from Westmoreland are working at the Zozo in Montego Bay? That no, that, no looks, that no look like, anyhow. Police had to be drawn from outstations in the parish. He might talk about the same Westmoreland parish, you know. To work at Zozo. As a result, there is no patrols being done at most outstations. He went on to say, The night when the lady was killed at Petersfield, only two police officers were at Withan on duty. And mind you, that's a police station that houses many prisoners, including murderers. But but that can't be safe. But that's not safe. 
That's not safe for neither the police officers or members of the public who they are serving. That can't be safe. He went on to say, Since the start of the year, only one murder of the 13 committed in the parish of Westmoreland was committed in the Savlamar police area. And that's the guy who was killed at 12th Street and washed up at sea. Also, Popeye, a lot of frontline police in the parish is too mixed up. Scammers has a lot of them in their back pocket. I talked about this before, you know. I have spoken about this before. He went on to say, a transfer or some other drastic measure is needed so that citizens can regain the trust of the police. The powers that be also need to stop in lip service and do what they must to pump more resources in the parish. And he talk about the parish of Westmoreland. Blessings, Papa. But, based on what squad is saying, this is not safe. This can't be safe. Because Zozo is like a division by itself, you know. So officers are transferred from various stations to Zozo. So Zozo duty is the only duty that they do. It's not like they're going to work at Zozo tonight. And the station where they are stationed can get them to work tomorrow. Once they are sent to Zozo, that's where they are based. So if 10 police is at Witan and you're going to take two or three and send to Zozo. That's why no patrol can go on. So when people call in the night and say, a man just shoot off at me, what? You're going to have to call another station? This is not safe. No, sir, this can't be safe. I don't know if many people notice it, you know. And, and, and what this policeman is saying is now I'm understanding what is really happening. If you go on most of the out stations, you hardly see no pa- You hardly used to see them before, much less now. You hardly see no patrol on the road, but this can't be safe. So the announcement of a Zozo, you know we're going to come back to this because we are going to be checking out something. Because what is the effectiveness of a Zozo? How much guns have been seized in the areas where the Zozo is since the Zozo start? Like I've said before, you know, we are in favor of enhanced security measures. But it must come with something else. It must come with cardin and search. You can't just put soldier and police to go sit down under one tent and then get up when them feel like and check which vehicle them feel like and then them go back on them phone and them a play Candy Crush or them a send WhatsApp. And a so the thing said, or you see a police and a soldier driving around through the area. So what about searching for the guns? What about the house to house search? That is what is needed right now to cauterize what is happening. Because guess what? Zozo is in Mount Salem for the longest while. And last week, we are talking about just last week, because there has been many incidents before. A murder was committed in the zone. So the guns are still out there, and this murder was committed with a gun. So if you now go search for the guns, if you now go go and try find the bullets, what's the sense? Eh? What's the sense? As far as I see, I don't want to call this foolishness, you know. But as far as I see, more needs to be done. No, no. <laughs> I hope I'm not boring you, you know. But you see, there is so much things to say. So, you see, common sense. You see, common sense. Them say common sense, no common, you know. People need to stop trying to appease. Stop the things we try, please. Human rights, people. When crime are commit. When baby are dead from breast and mothers are being killed, babies are being killed, you hear nothing from JFJ and them? You hear nothing from those people? The other day, the police cuss some bad word and do all these things. And we burn him out, yes? We burn him out. But our oh, work must stop this, so. You, you remember said JFJ come out? <laughs> eh? JFJ who were fast asleep. They were fast asleep, you know, until squaddy cuss. Too bad word. And tell somebody what them figure suck. And tell somebody who them can kill pan camera. And that wake up JFJ. With all the atrocities taking place. And that could have wake them up. You are the ones, you know. Mr. Wholeness. Mr. Chang. For however long you are going to be there. You are the ones who are there now. Stop promising laws and put the laws in place. Them little thing about man find with gun should be put to death. You and I know so that now go happen. Stop giving the people false hope. Stop it. Mr. Golden, 
the other day, there was, why, why are you so against the state of emergency, Mr. Golden? Why are you so against it? Why? Me, me, me really want to know why. Why? It had trampled on the people's what? Constitutional rights? So the people who are being killed, they don't have a right to life. The people who are being shot and hospitalized, they don't have a right to go around freely. We don't need to stop the pussyfooting, man. Stop the politicking and do what is right. Do what is needed. Stop trying to appease some people. Take the necessary action. Where Jamaica is now. No little sweet talking can bring it back. The my boy has shoot sweet talking. We must do what is necessary. The guns are out there. And whatever measures is going to be put in place. If we are not getting the guns, if the guns are not being seized, it no make no sense. Azozo is in Sablamar now. So the guns them now fire. But the guns are still there. Not true. Let's do what we must, man. Let's do what is necessary. Now, in today's news, and here we go again. Here we go again. And this is why I am so emotional. Because on a daily basis, I come here and I read these stories. Now, you remember we carried a story yesterday about a man who was killed along the retreat main road. His name is Mr. Derval Parkinson. He was 54 years old. Well, we like showing photographs. That man that you're seeing on your screen, his name is Mr. Derval Parkinson. He was a bike taxi operator for over 20 odd years. So, hoodlums, they rode up on Monday in the afternoon, broad daylight, not even 3 p.m. yet. And they shot Mr. Parkinson. So that is a photograph of Mr. Parkinson. Now, have you hit on the like button as yet? Remember, you know. Remember, you are not liking the stories. You are liking the fact that we are bringing the information to you. Now, this one, it took place last night. Tuesday, January 25th, 2022, almost 9 p.m. It took place along the Salt Spring Main Road, Montego Bay, in the parish of St. James. Now, here is what we are learning. We are learning that a group of persons, they were at a shop. They were having drinks at this shop. Among the group were these three persons. One of them, his name is Hakeem Fraser. He was 24 years old and he lived at Richmond Hill, Bickerstead, in the parish of St. James. Among the group was a man known as Minot. It is said that Minot is in his mid-40s. Another man who was in the group, he goes by the name Bunty. Now, Bunty, he's in his late 40s. All of them are from the parish of St. James. Now, what we're learning is that whilst they were there in the shop having drinks, a white Nissan AD wagon motor car drove up. This car is stopped along the roadway about 10 meters from the shop. He said that after about 25 seconds, thereabouts, two hoodlums jumped out of this white Nissan AD wagon motor car. Both of them had 9mm pistols in their hands. They immediately opened fire on the group of persons. Hakim, who seemed to be the intended target for these hoodlums, he ran off, but he was chased by the hoodlums who opened gunfire at him. Hakim, he fell to the ground, and the hoodlums, they ran back to the Nissan AD wagon motor car and made good their escape. The police were called to the scene, and on their arrival, Akim, he was seen motionless. He was lying along the roadway. He had gunshot wounds to his head and all over his body. The man who told you is called Minor. He received gunshot wounds to his right and his left leg. Bounty, he received gunshot wounds to his head and his upper body. All three persons, they were rushed to a nearby hospital where Akim, he was pronounced D-E-A-D. Minot, who was shot in both legs, he was admitted in a stable condition. But Bunty, he was shot in his head and his upper body. He has been admitted in a very serious condition. Before we started recording this video, we made some checks but we didn't get any credible information as to the status of Bounty. We are also learning that at least two motor vehicles that were parked nearby, they were damaged by bullets. Now, when the police processed this crime scene, our information is that 34 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. 3-4. If we get any other information, 
will be updating this story. Now, if you have been watching the video so far, if you have not yet done so, <laughs> remember, yeah man, I know you like when I remind you sometimes, just hit on the like button. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, we are now over 63,000 subscribers. So we are growing. Grow with us. On the weekend, we'll be having the giveaway. We are going to tell you exactly when because we are going to ensure that we post the video at a certain time so that everybody have a fair chance of winning. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, it is now PNL Vlogs TV. Go over there and subscribe. That press conference that Mr. Golden had yesterday, we are going to post the entire video on that channel so you can go and take a look. And like we said, from time to time, we are going to be posting some stuffs over there because if anything happens over here, we don't want you to miss the news. So we are going over there. All right? Now, in the final story for today, you might have heard this one, but we are going to give you the details as to what took place. We don't know as yet why it took place, but we are going to tell you exactly what took place. It happened at a place named Great River. Now, Great River is on the border of St. James and Hanover. It happened at a restaurant named Triple Palm Restaurant about 2 p.m. on Tuesday, January 25th, 2022. What we are learning is that a lady, you are seeing a photograph of her on your screen. Her name is Mrs. Rose Christian. She's popularly known as Ogre. She is 52 years old and she owns the cook shop at Great River. Now, her son is 34 years old and he's a chef inside of the same restaurant. We are learning that both Mrs. Christian and her son, they were inside of the restaurant when a silver Toyota Axio motor car drove up. We are told that this motor car, it stopped along the roadway about 20 meters away from where the restaurant is. Three hoodlums alighted from the car. It is said that they approached the restaurant. They had guns in hand. Immediately, they opened gunfire on both Mrs. Christian and her son. The hoodlums, they then ran back to the Toyota Axio motor car and made good their escape. Mrs. Christian, she received gunshot wounds to her face, her head, and her left shoulder. The son, he received gunshot wounds to his face and his right side. Both Mrs. Christian and her son, they were rushed to a nearby hospital where Mrs. Christian, she was pronounced D-E-A-D, -E whilst her son, he was admitted in a serious condition. Our information is that when this crime scene was processed, 12 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. I am hoping for the day. There is still hope. I am hoping that one day we can end our video without saying the mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody.